Hi everyone, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and the author of many books on drawing cartoons and manga and figure drawing. You can get my books everywhere. Amazon, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Barnes & Nobles, Joann's. And today I'm going to show you how to draw a personification of a shark. Okay? Make, make, turn a shark into a personality like a person. So I'm going to make him standing in order to do that. So let me first get the basic construction. And I'll do this over again in marker, as I always do on my videos, so that you can, you can see what it's going to look like. Uh, this is the, we'll just rough it out. Here's the tail, and we're going to make the tail of two feet. So we're going to flatten, out, flatten them out right here. Here's the top of the head, the crown of the head. And to show that, I'll put the two eyes right there. Now he's got a big mouth. All sharks do. I'm going to bring that right next to the eyes. On almost every car cartoon character, a big smile has the crease right near the eyes. So bring that in. Like that. I'm going to bring the rest up here and I'm going to have the smile coming out here. Keep it inside here. Now let's give him a couple of oversized molars. And rather than going up, I'm gonna actually make this like, like so. Have this eye come up and this eye go down. Actually, let's do this. How's that? Make some adjustments here. Yeah, that's good. This is somebody you really should not be playing with. He's not really out for your good. Here is the bottom fin. He's offering something. Do not take him up on it. See? See, I had to make a few adjustments in the beginning, but that's that's what you do as a cartoonist. See, because drawing is always about making choices. Everything is a choice. I'll do this, maybe a little more of that, maybe a little more of this. So that's what we're doing. Let me see if I can do the same thing here. Bring this down. A little bit like that. Let's give a little bit of curve in here. Yeah, I like that. So, a big dorsal fin, of course. A few funny gills and maybe a tummy area. And I'm going to bring this even higher in here. That looks good. Looks good to me. So let me get started and let's draw this up, draw this up now. Careful on the eyes. Flatten those pupils. See the, the pupils are as flat as the eyes. They're not round. I don't have a smaller marker for that now. So I'm going to use my pencil to kind of even that out. Okay, a little crease line up here. And this little bump, remember that little bump? Just a very subtle little bump. Bring that lower lip forward, a little tongue. It just shows that he's sort of like really putting on the show here. And I promise you, I will not hurt you. A little useless fin, another unimpressive fin, and flatten the bottoms as if the pressure of his weight is doing that. Here's that tummy we talked about. How about we, uh, we color him in? That should be fun. Let me first erase some of this pencil stuff. Okay, there we go.
and you don't have to be realistic, you can make the gray shark slightly green, somewhat blue, whatever you feel like doing. Or you can go really crazy and make a pink shark or something like that. I remember the first time I was working with my publisher and we were going through the dummy together and the dummy is basically the first pass of your, your book. And they were saying, how should we color this, uh, this cat? How do you want to color it? I said, that one should be blue. They went, blue? Yeah, that, that one's a blue cat. Of course, it was a cartoon and it needed to be blue. And it worked out well, booked it very well. The cat survived. All right, hold on a second, a little bit of this. A few streaks, you don't have to put them all together. You have to draw the whole thing, but a few streaks. Helps. And there you got it. There is your very friendly, trust him not, cartoon shark. Hey, I upload new videos every Monday. I hope you'll subscribe now so that I can see you next week. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.